And welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. Today, I've got an amazing guest. I, I, I have to admit, I've seen this guy create so much success in the last few years. Uh, David Susan is uh, one of the top speakers, authors, and trainers that I could bring on my show. Uh, the man has started with IBM, little company, right? And uh, did tremendously well in the enterprise level of the sales process, top 1% in IBM in that area, which is quite honestly amazing. And, uh, and what he's been able to do is create a process for a lot of folks that have a bigger ticket sales item and a longer sales cycle that if you're not reaching your goals, if you're not in the top 10% and you really want to get out of the ordinary into the extraordinary, then you need to connect to David Susan. So good to see you on the show. Hey, thank, thank you. you so much for having me, Pat. <laughs> I'm excited to have you on my show just for lots of reasons. I've seen you create incredible results for so many people. Uh, you are consistently teaching all over the country, uh, well over 75,000 mm -hmm. people in the last several years. Uh, you've touched the nation and uh, I imagine uh, have you gone overseas as well and I have uh, I yeah. have yeah in the UK travel all over all over the UK doing trainings there nice nice so I want to know more about your story though I want to okay. know more about um, how you created um, amazing results in enterprise selling because I I've looked at that I've seen it I've even tried to be a part of it in a, in a previous life so to speak and it was uh, it was painful. So you know the funny thing is, I some people go, "You're a natural salesperson." I was not. I mean, I, I'll be real frank. Most of my career, early years, I was an underdog. Um, grew up, didn't have a dad. Dad passed away when I was young. I was an extreme introvert. I was very shy. I was the kid that was overweight, and I had to figure out kind of my own way. Yeah. Uh, actually ended up getting my degree in engineering and I realized I, I love engineering but I don't want to be an engineer. And I thought, okay, maybe what I'll do is I'll go into, you know, help salespeople to sell, right? Be kind of a sales engineer. Uh, and I ended up getting hired at IBM in a sales role. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have no clue what I'm doing. This is not my natural ability. It's not my, ta my talent. I am not that person. I don't have the background, the experience of anyone. And so I started studying and I became a student of sales, a student of psychology, a student of human relations. And I really just started studying and learning and understanding. And frankly, I had to muddle my way through quite a bit. And I found strategies that worked for me that was congruent with who I was. And what I realized is a lot of the sales training out there was, it didn't really suit me. I, right. I felt like I was different. And then as I progressed, I realized, you know what? Most people are not that personality. They're, they're, everyone is different. And it's learning how to be congruent with who you are. So I applied my strategies. I moved to the top of the ranks. I was top one, as you said, top 1% at IBM. And I'd been in software industry uh, selling enterprise solutions, uh, whether it's software or technology or consulting solutions my whole career, either as a sales rep or a sales manager. So that's kind of where I came from. Sure. So one of the things that I can I, I hear and and in the the consult, they always talk talk about it being consultative selling right, right. but the problem with most of the people that are in sales is they don't have the patience to endure a twelve month sales cycle right right they don't have they they've got to get some wins and yet when I read your book uh, the. the it's the 180 degree 180 degree selling yep. yeah uh i was i i was i saw over and over again where so many people are frustrated right with the way that they're trying to reach these goals and yet the things don't turn fast enough and usually what is it there's how many people involved in the sales process on so a there's ticket item? typically about seven to ten people so we call that a complex sale uh, right. a complex sale I define, we, the industry defines a complex sale where you have multiple decision makers. 
And what we often find is a lot of sales training, a lot of programs out there are what I call point selling, meaning it's how do I sell to Pat? Well, that's great if there's only Pat involved, but the problem is I got seven to 10 other people. I have user buyers, I've got the business end unit, I've got technical buyers, the IT department, we've got finance involved, we've got senior management, maybe even the board, especially on these large multi-million dollar. So the problem is how do we sell in those environments and how do we move through strategically through an organization, continue to move the sale forward, not get stalled, not get bogged down, but more importantly, how do we predict? Because everyone gets lucky. Every right. person can get lucky. And it's like, you know, just like if you swing a bat blindly, you might hit a ball once in a while. What I want to do is be able to hit that ball the majority of the time. So what I found is how do we take a complex sale and how do we move an opportunity through that complex sale and how do we do it consistently? How do we do it predictably? And how do we start having success, especially when I haven't had success in the past? Yeah, I, the thing that I know about the selling industry is that it takes time. It takes work and effort. But if you had a system, that would really short cut the whole thing. And David Susan has a system for you and you need to connect with him. We'll be right back with more of the Business Spotlight. 